Hey everybody, it's ALG. Welcome everyone back to Let's Play Sweet Code in 3. In the last episode, we pretty much saved and saved and... I don't know, leave me alone. Well, anyway, what we were going to do is we are pretty much going to escape. And, uh... Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Just got to wait for uh, Caesar's word here. Or whatever. So I guess the reason why I saved is... Oh. Never mind. I guess they do let you save. Okay. Uh, my bad. Because I was so worried I just went ahead and saved ahead. But apparently they do let you save, so... Okay, that's good to know. Oh, well, you can't ever be too cautious with these games. <clears throat> Pretty much. I don't think we're going to find the Firebringer in this castle. I mean... No offense to Thomas, but he's pretty much a noob, and he wouldn't be able to hide a, a needle from the Zaxons, so... Why even bother with her, seriously? It's... Yeah, we have some weird travel mates. Not gonna lie. Uh, boy, who's he calling boy? Isn't he younger than Hugo is? Hmm. Well, it goes into uh, some interesting dialogue that we weren't able to see from his own chapters. Aww. Oh, Hugo's still thinking about that. That's too bad. Oh, well, go figure. Huh. Oh, we learned something new. I always liked that scene. Had nice dialogue. Which is kind of rare in this game because most of the time it's just nonsense. There you are. Yeah, I'm ready as a duck, man. Let's go. Oh my god, get your ass out of bed. <laughs> She's like me like every day, just wake up at around noon. <clears throat> your face is a dump. How about that, lady? Ah. Oh, she's still standing there with her puppet. Yeah, maybe that's why they keep invading us, because of that damn puppet. Weirdo. I think we're going to be using Mel quite a bit. I'm not sure. Because naturally, in the later chapters, I don't use her at all. But she's only a decent character because she's like 20 levels higher than the rest of your party is. 
So that's really the only reason why I even bother with her. Because you find her at such a high level. It's like really nice. She's actually pretty decent decent in the major battles too. Uh, sometimes she uses Branky as a flamethrower. Which is pretty funny to watch. But... <clears throat> The question is, are you ready? Oh, that's so typical of a strategist. On your signal. Oops. Hey, aren't you the garrison commander? You're supposed to be brave than that. Okay, so we got a, a battle. Which is basically the same battle that we've been battling since Thomas's chapter 2. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to see anything in this one, though. It's like one of those battles that, you know, that you get to see and it basically ends. So you don't really participate in it as much. I don't think you do anything in this battle. I think you just watch them. Now, whether, uh, <clears throat> th whether this battle will show all the moves that you did do back in Thomas' Chapter 2 or not is unclear. I don't know... How this works I think the computer just or I think the game just you know just makes all the correct moves or whatever but I'm not sure if it'll like follow your exact like uh, battle plan that you had back in Thomas chapter 2 if you played it before this one so I don't think it does I don't even think you guys even know what I'm talking about but that's all right but all the same stuff happens. Wait, this is good, because after you run away from these guys, we get to continue on with the actual chapter, and we got a lot of recruiting t for y uh, to do. <laughs> what? Alright, here we go. A great escape. Escape, ba ba Yeah, I'm pretty sure she'll make a huge decision pretty quick, but whatever. Yeah, see the battle ends and nothing happens. <clears throat> Alright, you can see all the dummies they put up. Alright, so... um. Yeah, I, I decided to put a Fubar back uh, with Hugo, because that's how I prefer to fight. Um, and Caesar and Apple will be traveling with us, so we shall get going. This sort of reminds me of, of escaping from use back in Sweet Coden 2. Where uh, you just keep running and running, and then you get attacked by Highland soldiers. God, I gotta play that game again. <clears throat> I really do miss playing the first two Sweet Codens, I really do. <laughs> it's kind of funny, because when you're LPing them, you're just kind of like not like. You're not taking them for granted, but it's like, you know, you're just kind of playing them just to put out the videos, and you don't really have, like, the time to really appreciate playing the game while you're recording, you know? I don't know if I'm the only uh, Let's Player that experiences games like that, but... I don't know, it just feels like whenever I LP a game, it feels like more of a professional thing than something I can enjoy. And then usually when I play video games I, that I don't LP, I usually enjoy them a lot more, because I don't have to worry about like editing them or providing commentary, worrying about quality and crap like that, I'm just playing the game. And uh, it's a lot more enjoyable for me to do stuff like that. I mean, it's not like I don't enjoy LP. I mean, LP is a different kind of joy. But it's something that, you know, I have to put a lot more work into. And I don't. it's like I don't really have enough time to appreciate the game. I don't know. It's kind of deep, I guess. 
Uh, okay. These guys can pretty much auto on every turn. I mean, it's really, really like rudimentary, simple fight. Rudimentary. That I shouldn't have used that word because it was like way out of context for like what's actually happening. There we go. Yeah, notice that uh, Hugo mounted, mounted the Fubar creates like double damage basically. And once we get Hugo's skill, or not skill, but once we get um, Hugo's swing stat up to like a B, B and A pretty much, uh, he'll actually start hitting after Fubar attacks. So basically what ends up happening is that Fubar will attack and then Hugo will attack on top of Fubar, which is pretty neat. And then it'll get eventually to the point where uh, you won't even need Fubar to be uh, epic with Hugo, because uh, what I plan to do is slapping a uh, couple extra runes on Hugo that will make him insanely powerful. And uh, basically, he'll be too. He'll be so powerful that he won't even need Fubar anymore, and he'll be attacking like three or four times a turn. And with every turn uh, that he does, he usually does around two to three thousand damage per hit. But that's not until like chapter four that he's going to be doing all that magical stuff. He's basically going to be the strongest person in the game, uh, rune wise and attack wise. Uh, for obvious reasons, and I'll get back to that uh, in another episode. Actually, Chris, Jetto, and Hugo are all going to be very overpowered by the end of the uh, game. So, But that's to be expected, because, well, they're the main characters of the game. Except Thomas. Thomas is really the only exception to that. It kind of feels weird, because even though Thomas is the Tenkai star, you know, it, it feels like he's just like some... Uh, other star of destiny that's like you know some like irrelevant star <clears throat> or some irrelevant star even though he's the main character he certainly doesn't feel like the main character in this game I don't know if that was intentional by the developers or not but yeah <laughs> I love Sergeant Joe's expressions. Hilarious. Huh, interesting. But we'll be seeing him again. So, nothing big. Anyway, I'm going to go back to the castle, see if I can check up on uh, anything. I want to check the lottery, so I'll be right back. Okay, scratch that. Uh, you can't go back to the castle. Not in the. L not, not at all. Um. Cause Sergeant will just, uh, tell you to go back, and yeah. Uh, I just decided to edit that entire trip out. And. Don't do it, alright? <laughs> I will see you on the world map. We will pretty much be continuing on with, uh, I don't know yet. We'll see. Alright guys, uh, I don't think we're going to be going back to Duck Village just yet. We're going to go into the Great Hollow. Oh, well actually we can just go through the Sindar Ruins and then we'll be there at the Duck Village. That's a good point. I think we have to go through there eventually uh, to recruit a character. But I think they're going... Actually, yeah, um, what am I thinking? Because I think they split up here. And... Uh, yeah, something like that. I don't know. It gets kind of confusing once you uh, enter in. 
He's all stretching and shit. Look at him. Look at him all lazy, just standing there, not doing anything. <laughs> um, but yeah. Kind of weird, but uh, we're supposed to go in here first. We got our favorite music going on as usual. <clears throat> oh, look, a cutscene. Okay, I was right. <laughs> True? Nothing is true in life. Nothing is true in the game. What is truth? Underground magicians? What are you talking about? Wait, by underground magicians, do you mean like the indie magicians? You can have like indie rockers, indie rappers, and indie magicians. I don't know. Like underground stuff, man. It's that underground stuff that's awesome. Okay, well, go ahead and beg at Brass Castle. I'm pretty sure we'll be going there next. I really fucking hate you, Lily. I'm not gonna lie. I am not gonna lie. She is like my least favorite star of Destiny because of the way she acts. It's like, now you stay right here. I'm like, no, I'm gonna do whatever I want. One week later... A week? Yeah. Alright, now it seems like we've pretty much done nothing, and that's pretty much what we've done. We've pretty much escaped, and we've done nothing but in the next episode we will go ahead and start recruiting a few characters and we'll pretty much be prepping up to getting ready to uh not finish the chapter but just continue on with it and uh see how it goes from there so this is alg signing off and i will see you guys later peace <laughs>